You're watching San Antonio Living. Well, mes medical research has shown that getting pregnant at age 35 or older is risky. But the doctors at the Institute for Women's Health are optimistic, especially because they see women at age 40 with healthy pregnancies. Take a look. Hi, ladies. We're at the Institute for Women's Health this afternoon. A very interesting subject today, and I want to talk to you ladies who are in your mid-30s and older about pregnancy. And with us is Dr. Victor Cassiano. How are you, doctor? Just fine, thank you. And one of your lovely patients, Carolyn Smith. How are you, Carolyn? Thank you. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Okay, doctor, a lot of women fear that when they're at age about 35 and above, it brings a lot of risk to a pregnancy. Is that the case? Well, I think the thing, the message I send out to my patients is that the most important thing is general health. Age, age is important, but not as important as your health. Uh, and what I tell patients, if you're in basically pretty good health, uh, the risk of a pregnancy after the age of 35 is not really that much greater. Okay, so for those women who are traumatized because they've waited, and that's the case for a lot of my friends. I mean, I still want to have more kids, and I'm in my mid-30s, but we fear because we've been almost like told that it's there's so much risk, and you say, really, there's not if you're in good health. Carolyn, I want to talk a little bit about your situation because you're currently pregnant, so congratulations. Thank you. But now you're 40 years old, which you look fantastic, by the way. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about what the pregnancy has been like so far. So this is my fourth pregnancy, and I would say, aside from the fact that I am 40 and after the age of 35, you endure different testing, the pregnancy's been pretty much the same as the prior three, aside from maybe a little bit more tiredness, mm -hmm. uh, but other than that, it's been pretty similar. There are different tests that you do uh, go through. Luckily, they're actually a lot simpler tests than they used to be when I was younger and having uh, my other three children, just simple blood tests that um, can give you the answers to those questions at as early as 10 to 12 weeks. So been uh, pretty straightforward. Carolyn is, is in excellent health right now and we know that women over 35 the risk of uh, trisomy 21 which is an extra gene increases after 35. Increases very small after 40 it's a lot more but like Carolyn mentioned there's a there's a blood test that we can do now at 10 weeks gestation that can actually rule that out uh, and this is trisomy 21 and also give you the sex of the baby, which to me is amazing to think that at 10 weeks you could find out whether you're having a boy or a girl now. And this is a blood test uh, from the mom. Uh, you know, Carolyn is seeing our high-risk specialist, again, because she's 35, uh, over 35. And, uh, and that helps, too, because that person also provides some extra insight. And, and she did have some extra testing that was offered by the maternal fetal medicine uh, person. Carolyn, best of luck to you in your pregnancy. And thank you so much, Dr. Cassiano, for that wonderful information. Okay, ladies, there you have it. The information from the expert himself, Dr. Cassiano. Best of luck to all of you. And the Institute for Women's Health is on McCullough Avenue, Suite LG70. For more info, 226-9705 is the number to call. And they have other locations. You just got to give them a call. IFWH.org online or Facebook Institute for Women's Health. Twitter at IFWHSA.